Hello everybody. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. So today I'm building what was going to be a room build and ended up being more of a house build because for some reason when I started I thought you could build um, two, like two floors could be a part of the same room and that's not true. And here you can see I'm playing around with the room schematics and trying to figure out how to build a two-story um, library and it, I ended up making several rooms so it kind of turned into a house build of one room or one yeah one roomed house build I guess you could call it but anyway it's a giant library that is based on Belle's library from building from the from Beauty and the Beast because um, I kind of got the inspiration for this one before I built my other one because I built this one first but anyway um, I was I wanted to do a library and then I was like oh I wanna know what I should do a library of it should be Belle's because Belle is one of my favorite Disney princesses because she reads a lot and I read a lot and I'm like oh perfect and so it's kind of it didn't end up being exactly like it because it is the Sims and there's not a lot of objects to necessarily make it a lot like it um, so it's kind of my rendition of <laughs> Belle's library because in the movie it would be so much bigger and like the library would probably take up like an entire lot <laughs> so it's kind of a little bit smaller um if i was i guess it's kind of inspired me i kind of wanted maybe do a more i guess detailed do more more of a kind of beauty and the beast castle almost and focus more on the inside not the outside and do like I guess the inside would be like the castle and everything but if I were to do that the ca I would have to make the library library bigger because granted this is fairly similar it's not quite as big as the actual library from the movie so this is kind of once again as I said my re rendition of it so it's pretty similar but in the end it's still it's fairly small compared to how the actual thing is and things aren't quite placed how they are in the movie but the idea is there. It's supposed to be this massive two-story um, library that has all the books from everywhere and it's amazing and I want it real bad. <laughs> I would never leave, let's just say that. <laughs> so, but anyway, this is the point where I was like, okay, I'll just do two stories and it'll be fine. I can still do a room build. No, that's not a thing. So, it's a, turned into a room, a a house build room build thing and it is available to download on the gallery and everything so and the one thing I was really excited about was I got to use a larger um light figure a uh, fixture um yeah and here you're sh you'll see me struggling because this is the point I realized it wasn't going to be symmetrical where the door was because I wanted a double door entrance because it's a grand library. It's Belle's library. You have to have a double door in in entrance. It's the entrance of a castle in a castle. And it's supposed to be grand. And that was when I realized that's not going to be a thing with this build. Or well, it was a thing. But the symmetry wasn't going to be a thing. Because I wanted to put the large fireplace in the middle. And I didn't, I don't, the other two, the smaller ones are nice. But I really wanted the big grand fireplace. Because there is a fireplace in her library in the movie. And I wanted to put that here and I was like, okay, I need the biggest one because it's a mansion or castle, but it just made everything anyway. Symmetry issues, that's my problem. As long as, and like, you can always change where the entrance is and everything to your liking and to fit your, I guess, house <laughs> if you put this in there. <laughs> so, but, and then this is my struggle with windows because the problem with this is that Belle's castle in the, or Belle's library in the movie has these massive um, curved at the top um, windows that go through the floors and Sims 4, 4 you can't have windows going through the floors that doesn't work so and I was trying to find windows that you could like stack on each other that would look like one cohesive window because like you could kind of fudge it that way but there's there was nothing that wasn't that didn't have like kind of something near the top and bottom that would separate it and make it look like 
these are just one window. They all separated and like, this is window one, this is window two. They're on different floors. And so in the end, I kind of wound up going with, I don't remember if I stayed with those windows. It was a big struggle, but I just kind of trying to decide which windows fit and which ones didn't. And it was at this point that I realized, okay, I'm going to have bookcases on the floors on the second floor, but you also need space to walk around for your sim. And so I realized I needed to make a walkway twice as big. So that's what that was. And then I didn't necessarily like how the stairs were, so I kind of play around with those. And then I was trying to figure out what to put in the middle. And then I remembered there's that painting of Beast and in the library. Is it the library? Is there one in the library? I think there is one in the library. I think so. But anyway, it, well, there's at least that torn one from the movie and everything. And I was like, oh, I have to include one of these. So I wound up, and they're massive, so they take up a lot of space. So I wound up sticking that in the middle. So the only problem is that it's kind of in between floors. So if you pl uh, play with this, you might want to scoot it up a little bit because when you go have all the walls up, it kind of, it doesn't do strange things. It just kind of hangs out and it's kind of obscures view and especially with all the bookcases and everything this is not necessarily a super friendly play playable room I guess you could say because a lot of times I'll kind of stick with one direction of the room and that's how I play from it and when I turn it around I get really confused and this one a lot of it's obscured by bookcases so you kind of have certain windows and certain angles you have to look, view the room from and this is where I was trying to figure out railings, and I realized Sims 4 has awful railings because none of them go with their fences. <sighs> and it was awful. And then I was trying to also figure out if I wanted, the, I wanted the staircases at the bottom to be more than one square apart. But if I, and so I, I was trying to decide if I wanted to scoot them together or not. I think I end up keeping, maybe I keep them apart. No, I think I scoot them. No, I think I make the whole room bigger. I don't remember. Anyway, we'll find out. <laughs> find out together. But um, I was trying, yeah, see here I was like, okay, if I scoot them closer, because I like them to end up there. And I was like, okay, I want them to end where the railing starts. Like that. But I didn't like that one space in between. So I end, I, yeah, I do. I end up making the whole room bigger. Because I guess I was trying to decide, do I want to make the room bigger? And ultimately it was just, it looked better if I made the room bigger because everything else was just not going to work out that way. So, so it's the massive room becomes an even more massive room. <laughs> so we're just going to see how big this library can be and be completely useless to you because Sims 4, it's just a copy of the exact same book shelf over and over again and there's no other new books there they don't change and it's kind of boring but at the same time like in real life this is and since this is the sims we can imagine and use use our imagination and just hope that they, wish that they were real books and wish that we actually own these number of books anyway so i was trying to decide um which shelf to use and i end up using i think it's my favorite bookshelf because um, it's that brown one on the right. Yeah, that one. I end up using that one because um, I really like that it doesn't take up the entire tile, the entire square. It only takes up half of it. And so you it, you end up with more, it looks like there's more space than there actually is, like to actually use. And so it is my favorite and I will, you'll probably see it a lot. <laughs> but I just, I just really like it. It really works out pretty well. And, it's, and it doesn't make it look too like cluttered because the big bulky ones they sometimes make everything look super tight space and there's not a lot of room and these they offer just that extra half a tile adds so much more space plus I really like the it kind of has a more not really old-timey feel but more like old and ancient library type of bookshelf feel you know because a lot of the more modern ones, it's like square cut out and then they'll have, or they'll have like fun shelves and everything. This is very traditional book shelf. And I'll just go on to a rant about five more minutes long and about bookshelves because I'm a book nerd. So, but yeah. So, but I, yeah, and I really like the, 
and my screen went dark. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was watching and then suddenly everything went dark and now I can see again because I didn't move my mouse <laughs> but I think yeah and yeah here I'm still kind of struggling because I wasn't a lot of it I was trying to make the room not be too massive because I didn't want it to be super obstructive and everything I still wanted to wanted it to be like slightly usable and everything so I wound up yeah, this, yeah, I wound up doing that kind of, uh, moving everything closer in, making it more square-like. And I think this is when I figure out, yes, yeah, you'll find out in a minute what I do with that, but <laughs> it's kind of, it's a secret. It's a secret. No one can know about it unless you use the library. So, but as far as, like, um wallpaper and flooring. We'll get there. We'll get there. I promise. I do remember. It's not like the garden terrace where I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, see, this is where I put in a secret, um, book, um, book doorway because that one actually matches. If you look, it matches the shelves. It was made, it was like made to be matched with this book, um, book, these, this bookshelves. And so I was like, oh, perfect. And so I kind of moved objects and made it look like like it still looks like it's different because it's stuck more in the wall but you know use your imagination and it you know it, it blends in though it's not like that other um doorway bookshelf that doesn't blend in with like anything so but i like i kind of wanted it to seem like okay it's a secret entrance into some place from the library like you can get somewhere else in the castle from there that would otherwise you'd have to go like a completely backwards way, way or like a, somewhere different like it leads to a secret area in the castle I don't know something like that but so and like I was trying to decide if I actually wanted to keep anything in there and I was like yeah I think I want to put that bookshelf the door in that probably made no sense because I don't think it did <laughs> so but yeah as I was saying a lot of bookcases Lots and lots of bookcases. And the pro but the problem with bookcases, though, like, I love books, but the problem is you suddenly have no more wall space and you can't put anything up on the walls. You, there's no room for pictures or any other decorations, so you have to do decorations through other ways. And I will say there's not a lot of decorations in this specific build because a lot of it's through the books. That you, Well, that's where you would normally get the, like different decorations and everything but the problem was that since it's the same bookshelf over and over you really can't do a lot of that so you know you kind of have to make do just like these curtains having to make do because the curtains in the movie go all the way from the top to the floor and guess what sims 4 doesn't have that's right curtains <sighs> so i kind of wound up going with it was at this point that I kind of had to figure out what colors I wanted to go with. And in the movie, I because I, I looked at like screenshots and everything, trying to figure out what colors and everything to, to do this in. That's kind of why I went with the gold for the um, railing or the um, fencing because in the movie it's gold. And I there isn't like a true gold in the, here. It's more of like yellow, but in the movie in Beauty and the Beast, it's a gold, but they don't really have that in The Sims 4. So I was kind of sad, but anyway, and that's why I went with that color. And so then I had to figure out what to do curtain wise. And in the movie, the curtains are green, that kind of greeny color. And so I wanted to do that here. And so I wound up, I'm pretty sure in the movies that it's teal or that kind of tealy color bluish eggy color I wound up doing that and so I thought it looked nice and then of course the floors are wood because in the movie they're wood and because it kind of I don't know I like libraries to be wood either wood or carpet nothing nothing else just keep it wood or carpet and here I was trying to be more creative and add more I guess depth because in the movie there are these big spiral kind of columns and they're really pretty, but Sims 4, once again, doesn't really have anything like that. That's the problem with trying to create, like, recreate um, rooms from movies, especially Disney movies, because they're designed beautifully and very architecturally, but there is no, like, 
you can't find it in like the games it's even difficult to like find like the objects you can like kind of fake your way out of it unless you're really really good at that kind of thing and I'm not I try and I want to be but I'm not I'm not good at like substituting items and like using like four different items to create one item to make it look like how it was it's just not a skill I have <laughs> So anyway, here I was trying to put like more furniture because in the movie, it's it's kind of off to the side. You have the kind of library area and then you kind of have a sitting room with a fireplace in it and it's kind of off to the left side. And then you also have on the right side that's this kind of desk area. And so I kind of tried to put all of that in here into one room and it'd be a slightly smaller room because like seriously, this library is so big, it would probably take up an entire first floor of like a like 30 by 40 lot or something it was ma it's massive and so but I tried to fit like a little sitting room with a fireplace and then a little desk area and then another little sitting area things like that and here I was trying to decide on colors because I went with that green for the um curtains because that's how it is in the movie but in the movie the like furniture and things don't really necessarily have they don't, they're not of great importance, granted curtains aren't either, but the curtains are more easily seen in things, and we don't ever really see a lot of these, uh, the furniture in here, and so, and I was trying to find, like, a color and everything that matched, and so I kind of wound up going with that brown, ivory-esque, beige, tan color, because I really like that color, and I think it fits, but I just part of me was like oh I want something that'll pop and it'll look pretty and it'll kind of like be like boom when you walk in because it's kind of a lot of brown <laughs> but at the same time I kind of wanted to blend in and be more muted because you're in a library and there's not going to necessarily be some libraries like modern libraries will put in like pops of color and everything but some a lot of them won't because um, because you want it to be more subdued and like you want it to be a calming atmosphere because you want reading to be calm. So I kind of went with more of that. I kind of ended up doing more of that, the calming kind of colors, not really a ton of bright accents or anything like that. The accents are more on like the objects, like you have that massive painting. Like here you can see kind of what I was talking about earlier, where when you're, when you're on the first floor, you can still see the painting, but it kind of obscures the wall there. And so... I guess tip would be to move it up so it's completely on the second floor or completely down against the fireplace or something because it's kind of in the way. <laughs> so, and I really do like, I added that little seating area because I felt like that corner needed something, but I wasn't quite sure what. And so I ended up going with that because I felt like a little seating area to kind of match the curtains would kind of work there. I don't know. The furniture in here is all kinds of different colors. It works. <laughs> maybe oh and that okay so I know that the rose um, from Beauty and the Beast is not in the library but I felt like it was kind of fitting because this is supposed to be a re my rendition of Belle's library and I was like oh we have to have the rose from Beauty and the Beast because that's an iconic part of the movie and so like granted I don't have the like can't there's no like glass thing you can put over it to make it look more like the rose but I felt like okay this is after Belle has transformed Beast back into a prince and so now they're living together in the castle and they have a rose because I don't know maybe they have a sense of humor <laughs> or Belle has a sense of humor at least or maybe it's Lumiere and Cogsworth <laughs> and to put a rose there in the middle centerpiece of the library I don't know I felt like it was some kind of ironic <laughs> symbolism that was needed there and then, oh, I totally forgot about these because when I started this build, I wanted to use the, um, what are they called? Guys in armor, the armor guys, whatever. Um, because they have that massive, um, row of the hallway of them in the movie because Belle thinks there's things looking at her from them and there are, but, <laughs> uh, just kind of, I wanted to kind of put those in there because I felt like they really, um, kind of have become a symbolism of a lot of movies that feature castles and everything because a lot of times when you think of castles especially like medieval castles and everything 
a lot of times the giant armor guys, which I can't think of the names of, they, they're in there. You see a lot of them in there. And so, granted, they have historical memes and all that. So, there is a reason they're in there. <laughs> it's not like they're just randomly in there because, oh, somebody decided it was a cool idea. <laughs> no, they have a purpose. <laughs> So, and then I decided to kind of carry through with the light green, because I did, I liked that light green in the chair down there, and then the curtains, so I decided to carry that upstairs. And I didn't, like, change those beige chairs to a green, because I felt like it was too much green. I did consider it, but that was about as far as I got. Oh, and then another little kind of piece to the movie was the little um, tea set and uh, everything from Mrs. Potts and Chip because I felt like they were kind of needed. I kind of like the boat a little bit better looking, but it is Bell's library and I felt like it was necessary to put in little bits from the movie um, into the library. So that was just like, another kind of fun reference, like if you're paying attention <laughs> to the movie and what the build's called and everything. And so here I am just kind of trying to figure out what lamps what lights to use because I wanted to use kind of older lights but I wanted something that was going to give off enough light which is a problem with Sims 4 because they have lights but not a lot of them give off that great amount of light so uh. so I kind of wound up going with these because I wanted it to look kind of not mod I wanted it to not look modern so I didn't want to use those like lights those saucer lights and everything because those lighten up everything. So the only thing is the center is not like super duper bright. I wish it was a little bit brighter, but you know, what you gonna do? Sims 4. <laughs> and then I decided to put in a rug because it needed a little, I felt like it needed to be more broken up because it was kind of like a lot, once again, a lot of brown. And then I had black and that's so much of a difference. It's not. Okay, so I think we're coming up on the screenshots. Yep, here they are. So, just some quick screenshots that I took. It was kind of a little bit difficult because the camera kept bouncing up and down. But, yeah. So, figure it all out. But there's quite a few of them because it's a little bit bigger of a room. Two stories. So, but there's a lot of little details. Well, I, <laughs> there are and there aren't. I didn't actually put in a lot of details because a lot of them were kind of already put there through the bookcases. But anyway. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is available to download on the... Um, gallery and I hope you have a great day. I will see y'all next time. Bye!